sells here, but he's 37 years of age, is Goran Degarmenci. His opponent is 22. A little bit of a weight disparity between the two as well. Degarmenci is 119.3 keys. Tarek Kababes, 101.5. So this is our first semi-final of the evening in this super combat stroke slam production. Coming to you from Almir in Holland. The big boys are out to play. مرحبا بكم متابعي قناة المغاربة ملوك الحلبة في هذا المقطع سوف نشاهد أسد من الأسود المغاربة ويتعلق الأمر بالمقاتل المغربي طارق خبابز والذي فاز على العملاق التركي جورهان بالضربة القادية منذ أجوة الأولى من هذا النزال وذلك ضمن بطولة سوبر كومبا التي أقيمت بألمانيا قبل مشاهدة هذا النزال الشيق فلا تنسى الاشتراك في القناة ودعمنا بلايك لسلك كل جديد وفرجة ممتعة <تصفيق> and three kilograms from Turkey, Gurman Degermansi! In the red corner, got one draw, height 105 kilograms, weighing 183 centimeters. Ladies and gentlemen, from Morocco, please welcome Tariq Kebabes! So if you can uh, decipher our Master of Ceremonies uh, coded message. I'll just run through the numbers again so that there's no ambiguity. Guran Degermenci, known as the Turkish Lion, 37 years of age, 119.3 keys, 176 centimetres tall. Tarek Kibabes, who may well have his work cut out here tonight. 22 years of age, 101 keys, and 183 centimetres tall. I think a bell should have rung then, but uh, the fight is underway. Well, straight away, Kebabes getting to work. Degamenci fighting Southport. Big unit, Degamenci. But just uh, look at Kebabes there. Start to put the pressure in. But the power lies with Degamenci. And once he's out of the corner now, starts to work. A lot of traction there. Big right hand over the top. Kibabez really doesn't want to go into a head-to-head -head and have a slugfest with Degamenci. Good work there from Kibabez. He's got a high advantage, Kibabez. And uh, that's giving him leverage in these shots. Certainly the skill resides with Kibabes. Just 22 years of age. 30 fights, 28 wins, 12 KOs, one draw, just the one loss. Trained by uh, Ivan Hippolyte, of course, who we saw. His favourite fighter is Muhammad Ali. Quite clearly he's not adopted any of Ali's ring craft. That said... At this stage now, just over halfway into this first round, I think he looks odds on to take a win here. Degamenci starting to run out of gas. Looking for the big shot. He hasn't quite done it, but the work rate now of Kebabes. Making our man Degamenci look slightly agricultural in his work here. Just over a minute in this first round. He's hurt Degamenci. That's it. It could be all over. There's the count, but Degamenci might not make it. There's the bell. Well, I thought at one stage the clock was wrong. This could be the beginning of the end now for Degamenci. He's trying to fight his way out of the corner. 
but he's going to need a lot of gas for that. Well, clubbing right hand over the top. Two, three, how you doing? Four, five. And I did hear the bell ring three times there. Seven, eight. Uh, maybe it was one of our ring announcers wending his way around the outside of the ring. But we didn't hear it to start the bout, so I've no reason to believe that it will end the bout. Well, the corner having a look at Degamenchi. The referee is questioning to see if the nose looks as if it's damaged. And it's been acknowledged by somebody from his corner that it is. So that's an easy win there for Tarek Kebabes, TKO. And um, he goes forward to the final. And Guran Degermenchi, awful lot of gas to fight K1 rules in the super combat room. Well, he's going to make it for the official decision. So, uh, a bad day in the office, really, for Guran Degermenchi. Maybe that's why he was delaying his entrance. Winner by TKO in the first round. He goes forward.